you're listening to the Webster's Gospel Music Show with your host, John and Don Webster. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and share with your friends, sharing Jesus with the world. The Webster Brothers. I've done a lot of living in 365 days I learned a lot about love from all of your ways I've made some mistakes, now I know the right thing to do I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you Goodbye, Zion to you See you later alligator Farewell adieu Saying goodbye 2023 Saying hello 2024 I'm ending the old year Starting the new year with you the beginning, Lord, you are the end, the Alpha and Omega, you're my very best friend, you've been in my past, now you're in my present and my future too, and I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you, <laughs> goodbye Sayonara. To you. See you later, alligator. Farewell, I do. Saying goodbye, 2023. Saying hello, 2024. I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you. I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you. Lord, I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you. There's blessings galore in 2024. I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you. The best is yet to come for each and every one. Lord, I'm ending the old year and starting the new year with you. Now Job was a man who stood so good and true. He'd praise the Lord in everything he'd do But the devil told God, now wait, that's nothing new You prosper him and that's why he worships you He said he would curse you to your face if you took away his wealth God said you just do whatever you like, but don't you touch his health So it wasn't too long till Satan showed his plan He took the animals Job had on his land He took his sons and daughters and were hands but Job fell down and praised the Lord again Well now that just got old Satan wild It touched him to the quick He said he can live without those things But let me make him sick So one more time God gave the devil his way He said spare his life but do just what you may From head to toe he touched Job's skin that day Curse God and die is what his wife did say but Job had the faith to move mountains Job had the faith to go on His love for God a never-ending fountain His love for God a never-ending song He said, do you think we should leave the bad and take the good? Job had the faith to go on So finally as some time had passed him by Job began to sit and wonder why 
Through all his pain and grief they heard him cry How can I have patience till I die? Then in a whirlwind before his eyes the Lord God did appear He said, my dear Job, don't question me, there's nothing for you to fear So everything of Job's got multiplied He blessed him with possessions far and wide now if you ever have your patience tried And like Job it boils down to being tried Just remember that the Lord is watching you And trust Him with all your heart Your life is under His control And He'll never ever part Job had the faith to move the mountains Job had the faith to go on His love for God a never ending fountain his love for God, a never-ending song. He said, do you think we should take the bad and leave the good? Job had the faith to go on. Then someone came walking as if to pass by 
I wanted to join him, for he must be God's son. He just smiled and he bid me to come. I'm stepping out, out of the boat, for the Savior is near. I'm stepping out, cause he rose, and his message is clear. Go tell the world about Jesus, and I'll go with you. Stepping out on his promise so true. You know that time's growing shorter, so much to be done. The Savior is passing and asks us to come. There's no need to tremble, no reason to doubt. He is with you when you're stepping out. I'm stepping out, out of the boat, for the Savior is near. I'm stepping out, calls he wrote. And his message is clear Go tell the world about Jesus And I'll go with you Stepping out on his promise so true I'm stepping out of the boat For the Savior is near I'm stepping out Cause he wrote And his message is clear Go tell the world about Jesus And I'll go with you Stepping out on his I'm stepping out Out on His promise Go tell the world Time is growing shorter No need to doubt Stepping out When he returns in power and glory, all eyes will be on him. With the saints of the ages, his earthly reign as king begins. The river of life will be flowing, all nations will drink and live. We'll Holy name, that's God's plan when He returns. When He returns in clouds of glory with all the saints by His side, He'll be the King of kings and Lord of lords. He'll be the light, He is the life. Oh, brother and sister, wherever you are, don't miss this great return. That's God's plan when He returns. His name will be the Word of God. His power will be unmatched. His throne will be in Jerusalem at His feet. We'll worship at last. His righteousness will rule the day, for with Him there's no need for night. He'll give us peace and sweet relief. That's God's plan when He returns. When He returns in clouds of glory with all the saints, by his side he'll be the king of kings and lord of lords he'll be the light he is the light oh brother and sister wherever you are don't miss this great return he's made a way just kneel and pray that's god's plan when he saints by his side. He'll be the King of kings and Lord of lords. He'll be the light. He is the light. Oh brother and sister, wherever you are, don't miss this great return. He's 
made a way Just kneel and pray That's God's plan when He returns He's made a way Just kneel and pray That's God's plan when He I was stumbling through a world of darkness My heart was hard and heavy as a stone Not believing in anything I could not see or feel Touch your own I turned my back on everything And everyone who tried to set me free And I told them that the life they live would never, ever be the life for me. All but then one night when all alone and beaten down and no one left to care. I finally hit my knees and cried out, God, are you really there? And if you are who you say you are, then take this load, it's more than I can stand. Well, then he reached down and took my load and gave me comfort with a nail-scarred hand. And I said, Lord, I know I don't deserve forgiveness for this peace of mind. And I know a worthless wretch like me ain't worth a second of your precious time. But I thank you, Father, for your love and mercy and the gift that set me free. And may I always remember that nail-scarred hand that reached and lifted me. I'm still far from perfect, but my way is growing clearer each day. My faith is growing stronger as I learn to lean on His amazing grace. I keep holding to the promise that someday I get to look upon the face. Of the man with the nails guard hand who left to prepare me such a place. I said, Lord, I know I don't deserve forgiveness or this peace of mind. And I know a worthless wretch like me ain't worth a second of your precious time. But I thank you, Father, for your love and mercy And the gift that set me free And may I always remember That nail-scarred hand that reached and lifted me May I always remember That nail-scarred hand that reached and lifted me Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Diana Thomas, Mary Faye Jackson, and Jonathan Bond. Yeah, yeah. Long years ago, when I owed in sin, I had no hope, no, no peace within. Set me free I never shall forget 
forget the day When all the burdens from my soul were rolled away It made me happy, so glad, so free I'll sing and shout it for He's everything Jesus now at his dear feet just a
searching for peace in some void. I was trying to blame all my ills on this world I was in. Surface relationships used me till I was done. Was begging to free me from sin. He was there all the time. He was there all the time, waiting patiently. That I have the answer. My life is just starting to rise. Sharing each new day with Him is a cup of fresh life. Oh, what I missed! He'd been waiting. Right there, all the time, he was there all the time. He was there all the time, waiting patiently.
sin I wouldn't let my dear Savior in And Jesus came like a stranger in the night Praise the Lord for what I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more darkness, no more night Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside Praise the Lord for what I saw the light Listening to the Webster's Gospel Music Show with your host, John and Don Webster. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and share with your friends, sharing Jesus with the world. The Webster Brothers. Lord, it's my own fault I'm down here in this valley where I am. I just thought this time I'd work things out myself There was comfort just in knowing I could call you any time But my way failed And Lord, you're all that's left Here I am, Lord Some deeper valleys where I've been Lord, I'm tossed with such confusion Indecision and regret Lord, lift me up From this valley where I With the where's and why's and how's Though I've tried my best I can't go one step more Every time I rise I stumble Going deeper all the time Let your sweet spirit touch me Like before Cause here I am, Lord, here in this valley And though there's been some deeper valleys where I've been Lord, I'm tossed with such confusion, indecision and regret Lord, lift me up from this valley where I've faced a mountain that I have no strength to climb for the struggle of this journey's made me weak both in body and in mind 
Where I stand to the peak is a distance on my own I cannot reach. So this journey of a thousand steps begins right here on my knees. Soon I'll soar like an eagle. Once looked like a mountain's just a hill from heaven's point of view. I may face things tomorrow I can't comprehend today. Circumstances so uncertain make it hard. Find the strength to pray. Oh, but I'm living in the promise. I'll never leave you. I'll always see you through. So what's this mountain to an eagle flying high from heaven's point of view? I'll soar like an eagle High on wings of grace Far into the heavens Where I can almost see God's face Rising in His splendor Once looked like a mountain's just a hill from heaven's point of view. What once looked like a mountain's just a hill from heaven's point of view.
No one compares to you, Lord. No one compares to you. No matter what we say and no matter what we do, no one compares to you. You're omnipotent, you're everywhere, and you're incredible, you fill the air. You're so merciful, forgiving too, you're our loving God, and we worship you. No one compares to you, Lord. No one compares to you. No matter what we say and no matter what we do, no one compares to you. Lift our hearts up with our hands To the one true God, the great I Am From the rising of the sun to its going down You're the music, what a beautiful sound No one compares you, Lord. No one compares to you. No matter what we say and no matter what we do, no one compares to you. the ground. 
around All he ever needed Was the guiding hand of the Lord Now if you think you sunk down in sin too deep There's no place God's hand cannot reach Ask Him to forgive you and set you free He'll pull you up as a child of the King. All you ever need is the saving hand of the Lord. All I ever need is the hand of the Lord. To guide me through this dark and troubled land. He gives me joy and so much peace. I just trust Him and believe all I ever need is the hand of the Lord. He gives me joy and so much peace. I just trust Him and believe all I ever need is the hand of the Lord. just leads us right into our very next song, a beautiful song that I believe uh, needs to be out on the radio everywhere. My brother wrote entitled, I'll Trust the Shepherd. The rest doesn't always come easy. When trials and troubles move in It can seem there's no hope in the evening When the life sun is setting low again When I count in all the sheep and I'm weary When my eyes are heavy Yet there's no rest I will stand in the midst of the shadow I'll trust the shepherd For he knows what's best Amen We can trust the Lord today When I'm tired and I just can't find answers to life's questions that seem to take hold. I can feel all the fear and the frustration, yet I know God would have There's no rest I will stand in the midst of the shadow I'll trust the shepherd For he knows what's best And if the shepherd will give his life for his little lambs If you leave the ninety-nine to find the one but I know I'll be safe in his keeping For the shepherd is my Savior, God's Son For I've counted all the sheep and I'm weary When my eyes are heavy, yet there's no rest I will stand in the midst of shadow I'll trust the shepherd for he knows what's best I'll trust the shepherd for he knows what's best
people say that this old time religion is just a thing of the past. But in this modern age that we're living, it's the only thing that will last. Now you may think I'm a little old fashioned, well, friend, that's all right with me. But I'm so glad that I am a Christian and from sin I have been set free. And I'm on my way to a place that's called heaven Not long ago, at an old-fashioned meeting I fell on my knees there in prayer He lifted my burdens and shackles fell from me And His presence was so real everywhere Now that the load I carry is lighter He's changed my gray skies to blue my steps are now higher and I have this assurance that His sweet love will carry me through. I know, I know, there's no doubt about it. He lives in my heart and I'm gonna shout it. I know, I know, my sins are forgiven and I'm on my way to a place that's called heaven. Come go with me to that land over He's prepared for the pure and the true It's a place where sickness and death cannot enter I'm going, brother, how about you? It may be today or it may be tomorrow He'll return in robes of pure white I'm packing up now, getting my things together Who knows? He may come tonight I know, I know There's no doubt about it He lives in my heart I'm gonna shout it I know, I know My sins are forgiven And I'm on my way To a place that's called heaven I know, I know There's no doubt about it He lives in my heart And I'm gonna shout it I know mountains One pair of hands formed the sea One pair of hands made the sun and the moon Every bird Every flower Every tree One pair of hands formed the valley the oceans, the rivers, and the sand Those hands are so strong So when life goes wrong Put your faith into one pair of hands One pair of hands heal the sick One pair of hands raised the dead One pair of hands calmed the raging storm Thousands of people were fed One pair of hands said I love you And those hands were nailed to a tree those hands are so strong, so when life goes wrong, put your faith into one pair of hands. Those hands are so strong, so when life 
the lord brother zeb is back and running things over there so i don't have to do it over here isn't that great hallelujah we're going to have a good program today we're so glad that all of you have tuned in joy say hello and and say a few words hello it's Tell nice to be doing. here i'm doing great this is a whole new year and we're looking forward to having lots of blessings and good things to talk about and see miracles happen and um I'm just happy to be here. You know, Joy, the good thing about 2024 is we brought Jesus into year with us. Yes, we did. Amen. Yes, we did. Amen. So that's what's going to make it a great year. Always. Always. That's right. We're so excited because we have our poster now that we can start pushing our Barbara Fairchild show. Uh, oops. I don't know what that was. Don. D-O-N. Okay. <laughs> but Barbara Fairchild and her husband, Roy Morris, are going to be here. January the 27th, so we hope that all of you will make your plans to attend. Even if you're from out of town, this would be a good one to come into town for, wouldn't it, Joy? It will be. It, they they have a great show, and they're so inspiring, and their music is great. They always have encouraging, inspiring words That's as right. well. And they are from Branson, Missouri, and Barbara Fairchild, as you know, had her hit song back Back in the day, uh, what was it, Teddy Bear Song? The Teddy Bear Song. And she was nominated for a Grammy Award for that song. And also, she did a version of that for kids. So did you know that? I didn't know she did another she version She did a of version it. of it for kids and, and was nominated for a Grammy for that. Wow. But uh, she's quite the young lady. And her husband, Roy Morris, he uh, is a, a great entertainer himself. He works in, has worked in Branson many years and... He's the one that put together the Statler Brothers. Yeah, the Statler Review. Brothers Review. And uh, he had, he and three other guys did the, the, the whole Statler Brothers story. Yes, and it's wonderful. So we're it's a great years. show. And uh, so anyway, we're real excited that, that we're bringing that quality of entertainment. Uh, I say entertainment. They are in ministry now with gospel music, going traveling all over the country. Well, the thing about Barbara and Roy is they both stay in the Word so much of the time. They do. And they always have a new and fresh Word to go along with their songs. Yes. And uh, you can tell that they're steady done. Absolutely. And they always have a fresh new perspective and Word when they go out to minister. It's not just, I'm going to sing to you. They they put depth into they their do. shows. And they also are very funny. They're very funny. You know, uh, they're a funny couple. So they're, they're, it, it just they're entertaining because they they've been entertainers for so many years. But their entertainment has a purpose. Yes, it does. And Bar Barbara's really funny, and she says funny things. And Roy, the expressions on Roy's face when he stands behind her are very comical. Yeah. Because Barbara talks a lot, and Roy just jumps in when he gets a, a chance. <laughs> he likes to say his name is Roy Fairchild. <laughs> instead of Barbara. Uh, but they are really sweet, sweet people. You don't want to miss it because it's going to be a great program. And, of course, Joy will be here, and my brother Don will be here, and uh, Ellie will be here. So uh, we're going to do, uh, each of us will do a song or two uh, in the first part, and then the rest of the time we're going to give to them so they you can enjoy them. But uh, be sure and come. Tickets are on sale right now. You can go to emplaza.net. The tickets are $15, and you can buy them online. 
Or if you're in the area, you can stop by our studio here at 300 East Main Street in Azel, Texas. You can pop in from 9 to, to 1, and uh, we'll have tickets that you can purchase. I had a lady come in this morning that purchased a ticket. Good. I said, who are you? She said, uh, the one in March. I said, is that the gambler? Oh, no, no, no. I want Barbara Fairchild, she said. So uh, anyway, so I sold her a ticket, but uh, we've the ticket sales are going real good online. And so we sure hope you'll plan to be this January the 27th. That's a Saturday, three in the afternoon from three to five. So, uh, or, or as close to five as we can get it. Let me put it here that way. Sometimes we have a tendency to run over, but depend on how much Barbara talks. Yeah, that's true. I love her saying, she says around our house at home, uh, lose your breath, lose your turn. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good saying. <laughs> well, let's get started this morning, Joy. We're going to start with uh, Darlene McConnell. I know she's tuned in from up in Halliburton, Ontario, Canada. Mm -hmm. This is her favorite song. Oh, good. So, Darlene, we're going to send this out to you. Go ahead, Brother Zeb. I do. That was my brother, Don, and he's going to pop in here in a few minutes uh, at some point to, to invite everyone out to his brand new church. Uh, it's called Sandy Beach Road Baptist Church. We just passed that road on the way in here. Yeah, and he's real excited about his first Sunday there, and uh, they bought that property, and, and uh, they've turned, uh, it, it was a church, and uh, it was, uh, I think, closed. They found it, and... Uh, they got that property and they starting a new work. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. You know, when people are, uh, when there's a lot of people quitting, we're starting. That's right. Amen. That's what was one of the things that was said to us when we did our, our grand opening here, uh, the chamber of commerce and all their people were here. And 
And one of them said, you know, it's interesting with all the people that seem to be quitting the ministry because how hard it is, you're starting one. I said, well, you know, there's no quitting when it comes to uh, Jesus Christ. You don't quit Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, let's do some shout outs, Joy. I'm going to let you read this with me here. Uh I want to send a big shout out to Ennis Jones. She's uh, my sweet sister friend from the UK. They're in Pen Penzance, England, and it's her birthday. So, and Roberta Thompson, how are you this morning, Roberta? Good to good to have you on the show. Always good to have Roberta from uh, Warsaw, Indiana. Yeah. Salute. I can't remember what town, but I I was pretty sure she was in yeah. Indiana. And then, of course, we have Tim. Two for Jesus, Tim and Lisa Wheeler, uh, two for Jesus. He's always on every week, and I certainly do appreciate it, Brother Tim, for encouraging us each week. And, and it looks like uh, Inez Jones from Cornwall. You no, that's Ennis Jones. Ennis. That's oh, okay. She's the one who said happy birthday, too. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we got uh, uh, Fran Boyd. Yeah, Fran and Dave. They're from our church. Say hi to Dave and Fran. Hi, Dave and Fran. Hi, Dave and Fran. <laughs> we and we have such a good time with them. Uh, they're such good people, and we love them. Uh, so that's enough for right now. Oh, darling, McConnell says thanks so much. Dell is listening with me today. In your prayer time, please remember me. My blood sugars are all over the place. Oh, I'm sorry oh, to hear dear. that, Darlene. And hello, Dale. But we will remember you in prayer, Miss Darlene. We sure will. Let's let's get started. You're going to do a song. Hey, I'll be. And you know what it's called? I don't know which one's coming. Ain't up. nobody. Ain't no nobody do me like Jesus. Amen. Whenever you're ready, brother.
Sunday night in Nashville about 11 o'clock and um, we were all tired, but Chuck just kept telling me what to do. And I just kept doing whatever he said and it ended up turning out. Okay. Yeah. People don't know what it's hard work, isn't it? It is hard work, but it's fun. But it it, and the end result is so worth it. Yeah. And you know, what, what's interesting is, uh, you sing these songs over and over and over and occasionally you might feel like, Oh, I gotta do this song again. Then, but then sometimes the song is just one that you it never gets old. It never gets old, you know. And that's one of them for me. Can't and, nobody do me like. And Jesus. as long as the people still get something out of it, then you know, once the music starts, you just fall right into it. Amen. And uh, just pray that that somebody gets gets a message or a you know a connection out of it. That's right. Well, I just want to tell you before we do the next song that uh, I want to update you on our television project. You know, we want to go live, low-power television station for the DFW metro area, and then we want to go live. Uh, we want to go on Roku and Apple TV and some of these Prime Video and all these things. And uh, so uh, we're in, we are in the works on that. We are trying to uh right now the stage we're at right now is programming trying you know we want to make sure we have 24-hour programming or christian programming and uh we there may be some things on there like family shows or something sure. like that but but we want we want to have uh have it to where you can tune in and get all the ministry opportunities you need and entertainment for singing gospel music and various different things and so it's coming along. It's just going to take a little time, so be patient with us. But as soon as we uh, have it all put together, we'll do a big rollout. And uh, people in the metro area will be able to tune in on regular TV. That'll be awesome. And then people that aren't in the area all over the world can go to Roku and Amazon Prime, click on the app, and there will be. So uh, pray for us as we continue. Uh, to try to get that done. That's a big, big project for us. Uh, it's expensive and we need we need people to help us. And so uh, we just want to make sure that uh, that we follow the leading of the Lord. And, and we believe that he has called us to this and, and provided us for, uh, you know, places to operate out of and different things like that. And so just Pray for us, if you would. We would really, really appreciate it that we would be able to uh, get to the right people and get to the right programming uh, so that it is interesting and enjoyment. Uh, also enjoy, uh, it would be something good to watch, what I'm trying to say, Joy. Enjoyable. Enjoyable. Thank you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Sometimes getting words out. This old brain just so slow. But, you know, once we get on like a local station, people just channel surfing will accidentally stumble on our show. But it's no accident. We know that. That's we right. know it's not accidental to them. They may think it's accidental, but God has a purpose and a plan for everything. And people, it's just the opportunity for more people to stumble onto our show and get plugged in. That's right. My brother will, said he's going to try to pop in here at some point. He wants to invite everyone out to his uh, new church this Sunday. He's real excited about his uh, uh, first Sunday there, and I'm sure he wants to say a few words about it. So hopefully he'll pop in here directly. The next song, He Pilots My Ship. Hope you enjoy it. The soul of man is like a ship that sails on the sea of time. The storms may come and the winds may blow and rock this ship of mine. But the reason my ship has never sank and today it's still afloat. My compass is his precious word, King Jesus pilots my boat. I won't sail these stormy seas no more unless Jesus leads the way. I won't ever drift so 
far from the shore I can't hear what he has to say I belong to a fleet that sails today On a glorious one-way trip We'll land safely on the shore to sail no more For Jesus pilots my ship My soul pulled in to safety's port My stern was torn all apart The bow of the vessel was so badly crushed Sin's waters it flooded my heart Oh, I'd sail so long on life's angry waves With my cargo of fear and defeat Then I called on his name and lifted the blame Now he pilots my ship everywhere I won't sail these stormy seas no more Lest Jesus leads the way Too far from the shore, I can't hear what he has to say. I belong to a fleet that sails today on a glorious one-way trip. We'll land safely on the shore to sail no more. Oh, Jesus pilots my ship. I belong to a fleet that sails today. On a glorious one-way trip We'll land safely on shore To sail no more King Jesus, pilots my
took our sins and he nailed them to the cross. He took our sins and he nailed them to the cross. He shed his blood there and paid that awful cost. He I thought everyone would enjoy hearing that song. He nailed them to the cross. That was the song when Ellie Gray was singing with my brother and I, we recorded this album and it's such a beautiful song and I don't want it to go to waste. And so I thought I'd use it today during our program. Uh, that was Ellie Gray singing uh, the verses. And of course, Don and I joining her on the chorus. Uh, that song was written by her cousin. It's a great message in song. I guess you can see to my right here is Miss Micah McCarley. Hello, Micah. Hello, John. How you been doing? Good. How are you? Fine. Did you get through the New Year's okay? We did the best we could. We just stayed at home New Year's Day. <laughs> oh, did you have a lot of good food? Well, we had black-eyed peas and meat and more. <laughs> black-eyed peas, meat and more. I like that. Yeah, that's real good. Well, you sure look sweet today wearing all that colorful stuff. The light just make it glitter and shine. That's mine and Granny's deal. Shiny and jewelry and everything. <laughs> well, what do you have for us today, Micah? Well, this one, you know, last week I shared the New Year's Eve one, and this one will be the New Year's Day to start out the New okay. Year. Okay. All right. Well, we're anxious to hear it. Come to me with a teachable spirit, eager to be changed. A close walk with me is a life of continual newness. Do not cling to the old ways as you step into a new year. Instead, seek my face with an open mind, knowing that your journey with me involves being transferred by the renewing of your mind. As you focus your thoughts on me, be aware that I am fully attentive to you. I see you with a steady eye because my attention span is infinite. <clears throat> I know and understand you completely. My thoughts embrace you in everlasting love. I also know the plans I have for you. Amen. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Amen. Give yourself fully to this adventure of increasing activities <laughs> to my presence. You have said, seek my face. My heart says to you. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Psalm 27, 8. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Romans 12, 2. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. I'm Micah McCarley, and this has been today's message, and Happy New Year. Well, that's great, Mike. I love That's my favorite verse, oh, Jeremiah 29, 11, because it does give us hope for our future, and God promises us a good future, and, a, and he gives us lots of hope for our lives when we turn our life over to him. And so that that's an excellent New Year's uh, devotional. Well, I figured I'd share it again today on the show. This is the first Friday of the new year. In fact, Tuesday was the first Tuesday of this year. So I shared it on the Christian Country Music Express. Wonderful. That's good. Uh, well, we appreciate you always bringing a good word to us on Friday. We look forward to it. And uh, if anybody wants to uh, uh, talk to Micah, 
uh, you can uh, email her. You, you have an email address? Micah McCarley at gmail.com. Micah McCarley at gmail.com. And you can send her a little word of encouragement. Uh, this is something she's been doing for a number of years now. A lot of people are, are asking to come give a little devotional on the show. And she loves to do it and loves serving the Lord, don't you, Micah? Yes. In fact, uh, since I'm now doing the devotion on your show now, you're going to get my next cake on her for my 30th birthday. Oh, wow. In other words, she fixes the cake on her birthday and she puts different ministries on the top of the cake and honors them. Looks like I'm going to get one this time. Wow. And it's going to be at the Fort Worth Yards. Oh, that's wonderful, Michael. Well, we're gonna have fun. Well, let's get let's get on to another song. This is a song that I wrote years ago, and uh, it just simply says, "Jesus still heals." Jesus still heals today. He still forgives today, oh yes, He's real today, as He was yesterday. If you'll just let Him in, open your heart to Him, He'll make you whole again. Jesus still You're searching everywhere for answers to your prayer. It's time to open up your heart to see. Just like Lazarus in the tomb, he will heal your every wound. Cause Jesus is the same today as yesterday Jesus still heals today He still forgives today Oh yes, He's real today As He was yesterday If you'll just let Him in Open your heart to Him He'll make you whole again. Jesus still heals. Like the woman at the well Who had to go and tell Everything the Master had revealed She found water for her soul As the scripture had foretold Oh, come and drink the water from the river That never runs dry Jesus still heals today he still forgives today, oh yes, He's real today, as He was yesterday. If you'll just let Him in, open your heart to Him, He'll make you whole again. Jesus still Well, praise the Lord. Jesus does still heal. Amen. But he doesn't just heal the body. He can heal the emotions and just anything that's that's going wrong, he's able to take care of. Now, uh, we understand sometimes, and when we're talking that he always takes care of it, we know there are some people who uh, they don't get over their 
their illness. Sometimes their healing is to go home with the Lord. Sometimes they get an ultimate healing. But it's ultimately healing. But Jesus is with us. And I've said it many, many times. He doesn't uh, leave us to ourselves alone. Uh, The Bible says that he's with us to the very end. That's what Jesus said. I'll be with you to the very end of your life here on this earth. And then we graduate. That's the good news. We graduate. Uh, We're not people without hope. We're people of hope. Comforting thought that is Mm -hmm. to know that he's always there. And then he'll be there when we cross over. That's right. There are times that I've gone through some pretty rough things in my life. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it this time. It's, you know, it's this situation is too bad for me to, I don't know if I can make it. And the Lord will give me the grace and the what I need for that. And then I look back over the years and I see all these things he's gone through. He's gone with me through all of these things. And it's always such a great. It just makes God so good to us in our hearts, don't it? Yes, it does. And sometimes he actually carries us through long stretches that we think we can't make it. That's right. Um, you sure you must be proud of Micah. Very proud of Micah. We have come a long ways in 29, almost 30 years yeah. in April. Yeah. But. I'm it's really not supposed to be here with us, is she? Well, not really. Not not to be able to do the things that she does because right. um, she actually was born without the right side to her brain. And then she um, didn't have enough platelets in her blood. And she had to have 10 blood transfusions before she was five weeks old. And then um, they diagnosed her with seizures. And um, you Well, know, I like what you said. I think it was a week or two ago, 30 years of prayer. Yes, constant prayer, constant prayer. We didn't know how this was going to turn out, but we trusted God. Mm -hmm. And and when the doctors would give us a not-so-good report, we chose to believe the report of the Lord. And when she was little and I kept her, we constantly kept Christian programming and Christian music in the house every minute of every day. And that's why it's so important to me to try to give back because through the years, we have met so many artists and evangelists that poured into us during those black times and those times of not knowing what the outcome was going to be. And we've got to actually meet them and be friends with them and tell them how much it meant to us. So this is a giving back for us. And I enjoy, I like what she does. She comes and reads her devotional from that great book and it's always real encouraging. And that's what I'm all about. Let me hold this up again to tell you that Barbara Fairchild and her husband, Roy Morris are going to be in concert here. January the 27th. Yeah, can't uh, wait. From 3 to 5. And it's here at uh, Eagle Mountain Plaza, 300 East Main Street, Azle, Texas. And tickets are on sale now for $15 a piece. And you can get them online at emplaza.net. Or uh, if you're in this area and want to stop in from 9 to 1, Monday through Friday, uh, we'll have tickets here that you can pick up. And so uh, well, we really want to encourage you to take advantage of these uh, concerts that we put on because these people are very, very uh, that led by the Lord. And Barbara Fairchild has been in both the country music industry where she had number one hits in the day, in the 70s, I think. Yes. And then uh, uh, now her and her husband have a gospel music ministry. And they, and they travel all over. Very, very great people. And I know you'll love love their uh, the time you spend with them here. The good thing I like about 300 East Main Street, Eagle Mountain Plaza building here, our little area that we have our concerts, it's very intimate. It is. It's, it is. It, it'll seat maybe 150. Uh, but it's close-up shows. I mean, you really get to see the people and, and they're right there, you know, and it's very intimate. And I think that 
is neat. It is where you're not having to sit in the rafters to see somebody <laughs> or take your binoculars to see right. other than a little dot. Now, this is up close and personal. Yeah. And and we have a lot. We get a lot of people that talk about they are so glad that it's not a gigantic place. And uh, we're glad that we're glad for that, too. We're very happy to have what we have. Yes. Because God provided it. And that's the reason why we're so thrilled to have it. Well, let's move on to the next song. I believe Joy Roberts is going to be say, singing a song that was a hit song for one of the famous stars, Straight and Narrow. Yes, the Paul Overstreet. Paul Overstreet. And uh, that was my very first number one radio single, the Straight, Straight and, Narrow. and Narrow by Joy Roberts. <laughs> Clearly see where I was better off One wrong turn and then before I knew it I was lost Some say I was led astray But I'm the one to blame I'm just glad I found my way back to this little road again I gotta keep walking down the straight and narrow Well, you can take it from a veteran of the shadows The straight and narrow is the road to choose There's temptation on the left And there's temptation on the right If you need a little help Keep your eyes up on the line Keep on walking down the straight and narrow Blues. If you want to save yourself a world of sorrow, the straight and narrow is the road to choose. Just beyond the hill Once you've turned the corner You'll find it's a package deal There may be good times now and then But if the truth be known It's just a trick to keep you off the path That leads you home Better keep walking down the straight and narrow your shoes You can take it from the veteran of the shadows The straight and narrow is the road to choose There's frustration on the left and aggravation on the right and it will worry you to death So if you value your life better keep walking down the straight and If you want to save yourself a world of sorrow, the straight and narrow is the road to choose. The straight and narrow is the only road that you should use. Robert singing straight and narrow. I love that song. I like all the fiddling in that song. <laughs> I think I have on the phone with me my brother Don Webster. Don, are you there? Good afternoon, everybody. Well, all right. Tell them what you want to tell them. Well, oh, okay. They're going to, you, you can hear me that way. All right. So well, I just wanted to invite everybody out. If you're looking for a church home starting this Sunday, January the 7th, 
at uh, Sandy Beach Road Baptist Church at 1006 Sandy Beach Road, Sunday morning service at 11 o'clock. We're going to have traditional music and preaching. And uh, that's our first Sunday as I'm the new pastor at the church. And I want to invite folks out that are, are looking for a church home to come visit. Uh, we're a work in progress. We've got work to do on the building and things, but we are excited about the new ministry, the new opportunity to reach people for Christ. And just we've got people that are excited that are going to be, be there and they want to get involved and do some things. And so uh, I just want to invite everyone to come out, be looking for us in the Azel News. We've got uh, we've got information about the church will be listed in their directory and an article coming out about the new ministry and. Uh, we just have a lot of uh, momentum, I feel like, behind us, and we're excited about what the Lord's doing. So come on out, and that's this Sunday at uh, Sandy Beach Road Baptist Church. Now, the sign still says Rose of Sharon Country Chapel. That's what the sign says. We're in the process of getting that taken care of, but uh, it'll say, uh, eventually, it'll say Sandy Beach Road Baptist Church at 1006 Sandy Beach Road. So come on out this Sunday at 11 o'clock. It'll be my first Sunday as pastor. And so we would invite you to come out and worship with us and uh, just uh, enjoy what God is going to do and great things are ahead. So come on out to Sandy Beach Road Baptist Church and uh, be a part of what God is doing. Thank you, brother. Amen. Well, I appreciate you calling in and letting us all know what you got going on. And we wish you the best and we pray for you every day and we'll be promoting your uh, work out there as well, and we love you. And you come see us as often as you can. All right, we'll do it. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Well, let's since we've done that, let's go to the next song. This is my brother Don singing, I'll Take Jesus. I love it. As they gambled for that old road that he wore, they chose a worldly trail. They didn't think of eternity as the soldiers drove those nails. Now will we learn from what they've done or make the same mistake? Jesus or the world, my friend, which one will you take? I'll take Jesus. I'll take Jesus. I've tried these earthly pleasures and they fail. When we see the gates of heaven, we'll hear the Master say, Jesus or the world, my friend, which one did you take? When the pages of this old life have turned and time has rolled on away, the greatest things that I have done, they won't help me on that day. Well, they'll be to me just some old hear him say Jesus or the world my friend which one will you take I'll take Jesus I'll take Jesus I've tried these earthly pleasures and they fail when we see We'll hear the Master say, Jesus or the world, my friend, which one did you take? I'll take Jesus. Yes, I'll take Jesus. I love that song. I do too. You know, I'm sitting here and she's singing it to me the whole time it's being played, and I'm thinking, I get here, I get, I get two deals here. I get the Webster Brothers and Joy Roberts all at the same time. I've always loved that song. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. I'll take Jesus every time. Amen. Uh, Well, we we are getting down to the wire now. And uh, we've invited you to the uh, show, the Barbara Fairchild and Husband Laura Morris show here. And uh, we've updated you a little bit on our, where we're at with our television station that we're starting here. And we are progressing with that. Just wanted to let you know that uh, it's just going to take some time. Our programming is the uh, it's the most difficult part of the deal. But once that set, because, you know, it's a lot of programming for 24 hours. Yes, TV. it is. And so we have to have all that in place. But when we do have it all in place, we'll announce launch day. And uh, you'll be able to uh, see it, see us on TV for the first time. That's exciting. Isn't that going to be exciting? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. It's just so interesting how how this technology works today. Used to, a person like you or me couldn't do anything like well, this. No way. Uh, without it costing tons and tons of, of money. And it's still expensive, but it's not like it used to be. So um, we're going to share a little bit about I Need Your Grace, and then we'll play that, and then we'll come back and do our farewells. Well, um, about two years ago, I met Jonathan Bond, and um, he invited me to sing a duet with him. And he sent me a lot of songs, and finally he sent me this one, and he said, I think it would duet real well. So the next thing I knew, I was on a plane to uh, Nashville and drove down to Cleveland, Tennessee, where his studio is, and uh, we recorded this song. And we've gotten to do it live a lot of places when he's down in this area or if we meet up at a, yeah. at a place at the same time. And... Um, it, it's the first verse is more like a prayer that, you know, God, I've messed up and I need your grace. And then the second verse is more like a counseling where you're telling somebody else, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I've been where you've been, but God's grace is enough. Amen. And um, it, it's been very effective. Great song. It is a great song. I need your grace. Jonathan Bond and Joy Roberts. Lord, I kneel before your throne again today Standing in need of your mercy and grace I found myself in trouble Lord, I've been led astray Now I'm trusting you, calling out your name Healing on my heart and on my 
beautiful, beautiful song, Joy. Thank I'm you, so John. I'm so glad you got to do that because uh, what a great message in a song. Uh, we know, I noticed that Amberlina from over in uh, Longview uh, found us today. Thank you, Amberlina. She says, hi, Granny. <laughs> and uh, Zach Clifton hey, Zach. found us. Hey, Zach. We're so glad. Zach Clifton has got to be one of the best singers this side I of the agree. Uh, Mason Dixon line. I agree. Amen. Yes, amen. And we're going to have him back on our show, and we're also going to have him back in concert. So be looking for the, the name Zach Clifton. Zach, I want you to know, when I had you on television when we were over in Mesquite, that station has since closed. That's why we're, we're opening one here, because we want to continue the television ministry. But that the show that you did, uh, you did two actually, but they have at least one of them I know of. I got to look back on the other, one, but six thousand views. Wow, that's now awesome. that's pretty doggone good, brother Zach. That is good. So uh, we got to hurry up and get you back on television so we can get the viewership back up. <laughs> yes, yes. But I thought you would be encouraged by that. That's our most viewed show that we've ever done. Wow. So um, we just thought you'd be encouraged by that. Well, it's time for us to go. We thank you, every one of you. Thank you for having me, John. Well, thank you, Joy, for being here. I always like Joy. She dresses me up a little bit when she shows up. And uh, we'll be thinking of Brother Don. At the church, his new church on Sunday. Yes. Pray for him. We'll pray for Brother Dean Dale's brother from Canada. Yeah. He is in the hospital with pneumonia. We want to remember Dale also and Darlene from up in Ontario. But uh, we will be remembering those prayers as well as we pray for y'all every week. Yes, we do. And we love you. And we appreciate that you would take your time out of your day to tune in and watch our program and listen to what we have to say. We thank you and we, we bless you in Jesus' name. What would you like to say, Joy? Just like to say uh, we want to remember our friends, the Armstrong sisters. Uh -huh. um, they lost one of their sisters this week. And um, John and I have been at a lot of events where they where they sing. They're from over in Richardson, Texas. Yeah. They're so faithful and they they just so love the Lord. And we just want to lift up that family this week. Um, from losing a sister. Well, we thank Pearl for being here. Micah, thank you. Thank you, Miss Susie, for being here. Thank you, Zeb. Oh, we're so glad. Yes, Zeb's thank you, here. Zeb. Oh, thank you, Zeb. Because when I run things, <laughs> it's different. I mean, real different. So, anyway, we love all of you. Hope that you will tune back next Friday for another yes. uh, quick program. Uh, we have the one hour nonstop gospel music from 11 to 12. Then from 12 to 1, it's joy in our lives. So we appreciate it so much. And here's my brother Don closing us out with our closing out song we do every week, Midnight Cry. God bless you and see you next Friday. Bye, everybody. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing And it's closer now Than it's ever been I can almost hear the trumpet As Gabriel sounds the call As he sounds the call At the midnight cry We'll be going
at the midnight cry. At the midnight cry. When Jesus comes again. see prophecies they're all fulfilling and the signs of the times with every appearing every way Okay. 